Now to a story only on 12 News. A year of quarantine and isolation has no doubt hurt our state's kids, many of who have missed out on sports leagues and camps. But tonight, a movement that you can support to help kids hurting during this time. And it's all inspired by a fallen police officer killed in the line of duty 14 years ago this week. Team 12's Joe Dana explains the officer's unique legacy. This is your office on wheels. It can be a lonely existence. You have a lot of time to think. The job of patrol officer. We don't ride two-man units, so sometimes you go a whole shift with just you. Two thoughts often creep into Darren Atkinson's mind. The bullet he took to the neck as a rookie. That's how I survived. It's the only way I can describe what we got. The other thought, it's actually linked to the first. The officer who guarded his hospital door. His police academy classmate, Tony Hawley. Unfortunately, two months later, almost to the day, I was able to return the favor. Actually stood guard at the hospital room while he was being taken care of. A young Valley police officer killed in the line of duty. Hawley was just 24 years old. I just miss him. Hey, I just think about the, his laughter. He had the energy of a rabbit. An Air Force vet, Tony was known to take charge, volunteering for Big Brothers Big Sisters, organizing off-duty pickup games for fellow officers. Kind of wise beyond his years. And when on duty, he used sports to make bonds with the kids of Glendale. And that's kind of in the spirit of Tony. It was the stopping on the side of the street to play basketball with the kids. Tony's sister, Carrie. He loved the ball field, and he loved what it did for kids. It's why Tony's family started the Anthony Hawley Foundation. Over the years, we followed the nonprofit as it collects funds to provide scholarships for kids across the valley who might otherwise not have the resources to participate in summer camps and sports leagues. I'm very grateful, I mean, because like I said, I run on a budget. The Anthony Hawley Foundation is down to about a fifth of the funds that they typically have. Tony's family believes that this year, more than any other, would be the time to make sure that less privileged kids have a chance to get out and play. If you have a little bit extra and you can give so that these kids that have been cooped up for the whole year, that haven't been able to play sports, maybe their parents are in a bad financial situation right now. You know, Tony, he lived life by his values and, and um, he would just love what the foundation's doing. It's Tony's legacy that makes those long rides a little brighter. Organized sports give kids a structure that maybe some might not have at home. It, it makes me proud to be a friend of his, to have known him. It just really shows the, the impact that he made in his short time here on Earth. And what a way to remember Anthony Hawley on this week that we remember the anniversary of his death. Again, there's the information, anthonyhawleyfoundation.org. The funds put kids in city and recreational sports leagues and in big brothers and big sisters. The organization has no paid employees. All the money goes straight to the kids, many undoubtedly having a tough time during this pandemic. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, thanks.